Hello, in this video we are talking about this question, what should be included in a social media strategy plan? Well make sure you stay tuned and watch this video from start to finish because I will give you methods and tactics for a social media planning strategy that drives brand awareness and helps you grow your online business. So pay close attention to the insights that I will give you, keep watching. Hi my name is Ashley, if you're new to the channel please make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get alerted about new videos. Please make sure you like the video because that motivates me to create more content for you. Thank you, let's go. So to begin with I will tell you what a social media strategy is. Put simply, a social media strategy is a plan that outlines your social media goals, the tactics used to achieve them and the metrics tracked to measure your performance. Your strategy doesn't need to be complicated, what you want is a simple and specific plan with meaningful measurables. This will help you to identify the right channels and tactics that are successful versus those that fall flat. Ultimately, your social media strategy should drive more brand awareness and engagement across social media channels for your target audiences. Here are the benefits of a social media marketing strategy. You may have run a successful social media campaign or great engagement on your posted content. That one-off success is achievable. However, the difficult part of social media marketing is consistency. Do you understand why that campaign or post succeeded? Can you replicate it Easily. It may feel a little daunting for you to think about creating a social media strategy, but it will provide your business with many tangible benefits like a direction for all your social media activities. It will help you to improve brand awareness. It will offer social customer service and support. It will help to enhance targeting across audiences. It will help to direct and increase your website traffic. It can also help to personalize your content and generate better quality leads. It will also create social media influencer opportunities, it can help you promote your unique content that could go viral and it can offer social, commerce and shoppable posts. It will also give you valuable data that you can analyse and measure to improve performance. As you can see there are huge benefits to social media so creating a strategy will serve to achieve your business goals and drive more customer engagement. I will now tell you what a social media engagement strategy is. Your social media engagement strategy strategy is important as it creates more connections with your audience across different networks. It helps you to manage your community through social media channels and build your brand. There are two core purposes of an engagement strategy and they are to manage your community. This can be done by offering good advice through a blog, responding to comments in posts, replying to queries on channels and reaching out with polls or surveys to find out more about your customer base. A social media engagement strategy strategy can also help you grow your following. Interaction is important here, so offer content that is valuable such as engaging video content, engage prospects with free content or competition offers or simply demonstrate your brand as active and useful by being responsive in your networks to draw people in. User generated content known as UGC can play a key role here as it is evidence of the people that support your brand talking about it rather than it coming in from your business or marketing team. Here are some methods to help you create a social media strategy. Here we go. Method one, set goals for your business. It's worth spending some time on this stage as understanding and defining your social media goals will help you to determine the rest of your strategy. Think about what your business wants to achieve from social media and understand that marketing and business goals are a bit different. Maybe it is greater brand awareness in the marketplace. To learn more about your audience, expand your following or generate more leads. You may want to achieve all these goals but it's crucial to note each of them as they will involve different tactics on social media. When you set your goals, define your key performance indicators known as KPIs to understand which social media metrics are the more important to your business. To help you get better results on social media, set metrics for each channel that you use. For example, on Facebook, reach, engagement and impressions are important, whereas on Instagram, interactions and discovery are key. Over and above basic metrics, you can dig deeper and track audience growth rate, amplification rate 
which is the rate users share your content or virality rate. There are many metrics you can use to track success, so narrow them down to what matters to your business. Method number two, research your audience. To create personalized messaging and content, you need to understand who your audience is and what they really want. The best way to achieve this is to conduct market research through online surveys, interviews with your customers, or by setting up a focus group. Another way to find out more about your customers and community is to do social listening. There are many tools that can help you do this across social networks, including BuzzSumo, Follower Wonk, or Uber Suggest. Both of these methods will help inform your buyer personas, which combine your buyer profile and buyer insights to create a picture of your ideal customer. You can have more than one persona to capture the different insights, demographics, and pain points. Regardless of the position you hold or the team you're on at your business, knowing your audience is beneficial. By understanding who these people are, you can tailor content to their needs, provide specific types of service and support they're seeking, and ensure your product or service will resolve any challenges that they're experiencing. When you know your audience, everything you do will be more likely to resonate with the people who matter most to your success, your leads and customers. This is how you foster strong long-term relationships between your audience and business as well as a sense of brand loyalty and advocacy over time. You can review any current data and analytics. When getting to know your audience on a deeper level, begin by reviewing your current data about this group you've already collected. This includes all relevant analysis your company has conducted about your customers since you've been in business. For example, maybe you've already held a focus group with real customers who shared their feelings about your product or service. This gives you a starting point to work from when learning about your audience on a deeper level. You already have some understanding of the real pain points and challenges they experience and what they need from your product or service. From there, I recommend to consider the other types of audience related information you're missing and you need to obtain. For example, maybe you create and administer a survey for your audience members to get answers to much more specific product or service related questions that you have for them. Method number three, research your competitors. Competitor research is a crucial part of your social marketing strategy. It helps you understand what your competitors are doing in the social space, such as what platforms they use and the campaigns that they run. You can also see what their messaging is, the content they produce, and the frequency of their posts. By understanding how they engage with customers and the success of that engagement, you can either emulate it or take it another direction to capture customers' attention. A competitive analysis is a strategy that involves researching major competitors to gain some insight into their products, sales and marketing tactics, implementing stronger business strategies, warding off competitors and capturing market share are just a few benefits of conducting a competitive market analysis. A competitive analysis can help you learn the ins and outs of how your competition works and identify potential opportunities where you can outperform them. It also enables you to stay ahead ahead of the industry trends and ensure your product is consistently meeting and exceeding industry standards. Let me tell you a few more benefits of conducting a competitive analysis. It helps you identify your product's unique value proposition and what makes your product different from the competitors, which can inform future marketing efforts. It enables you to identify what your competitor is doing right. This information is critical for staying relevant and ensuring both your product and your marketing campaigns are outperforming industry standards. It also tells you where your competitors are falling short, which helps you identify areas of opportunities in the marketplace and test out new unique marketing strategies that they haven't taken advantage of. You can also learn through customer reviews what's missing in a competitor's product and consider how you might add features to your own product to meet those needs, which provides you with a benchmark against which you can measure your growth. Method number four, choose your social media platforms. The question isn't whether you should be active on social media. It's how to choose the best channels for your business. It can be confusing in the beginning as there is a lot to choose from. However, don't make the mistake of being present on all of them for the sake of it. Some will not suit your business or content. So how do you narrow down your choices and optimize content for every social network? Let me tell you about Facebook. As one of the biggest social media platforms and the oldest, Facebook offers a targeted way to manage with prospects and customers. Many content 
content types do well on this platform and Facebook Live offers you a way to connect with customers through video. The next social network is Instagram, the perfect visual platform. Instagram continues to be a hit amongst younger audiences and has seen huge growth over the past few years. It's a great platform to showcase products and connect with influencers to grow your customer base. Plus with in-app shopping coming to Instagram soon through shoppable posts, customers will be able to purchase on the platform. If you're looking for support in the areas of SEO, content marketing and digital marketing, get in touch with the Internet Business School, the UK's leading internet marketing training company. Just click the link in the description box below to find out more. The next social network is LinkedIn. LinkedIn is the place to be for B2B businesses and provides opportunities for B2C too. It provides businesses with a way to connect in the B2B space both organically and through paid advertising. Content that works well on this platform are blogs, white papers, ebooks and industry related content. The next social network is Twitter. Twitter is a real time platform which means that your content should be timely and relevant. It can be a great customer service channel for brands as it allows quick replies and its hashtags help discover new and trending content. There's a bit of a knack to using hashtags successfully so take some time to figure out how to use them across social networks. The next social network is TikTok. As one of the fastest growing social media channels, TikTok is a great place for video content. Known for its short form and quirky videos, it's developing rapidly as a platform and can be used effectively for marketing. For user generated content, you can't beat TikTok and it's a great place for influencer collaborations. The next social media platform is YouTube. Someone somewhere right now is watching a YouTube video. That's how popular it is. It's a marketer's playground as it provides a way to connect with a customer in a way that provides information but can also offer entertainment. If you're a brand that creates lots of videos, particularly how-to or tutorials, this could be the platform for you. Another social media platform is Pinterest. Pinterest is all about social discovery. It's a place people come to get inspired by images and videos. The millions of pins it showcases cover everything from home decor to recipes and it's great for content curation, like a social mood board. Method number five, plan your social media content. Now that you've done your research and decided on the right social media platforms, it's time to think about your content and approach. Let me give you some simple steps into planning your content. Create a tone for your pages. Tone is how you want the world to see and speak to your brand. Are you formal or informal? Do you use humor or is your business more serious? Each platform has its own personality too. So do you want to speak differently on each and showcase your brand's personality? You can create content themes or content buckets. Look at what your USP is and see what content themes or buckets you can create. For example, if you're a travel resort or hotel, you could create a content bucket around wellness, showcasing your spa and healthy recipes. Another content bucket could be about your location. What makes that place unique and interesting? Is it wildlife, scenery or something else? If you need some help with content creation, there are some great tools out there. You can create a content calendar. It's key to post regularly on social networks and a calendar can put some order to your posting, especially if you're posting on multiple channels. There are optimum days and times for networks too, so take that into account and find out when to post on TikTok and the best times to post on Instagram. You can also schedule your content. It can be difficult to keep up with the pace of social media and if you post regularly, keeping to a schedule is important for consistency. Thank you for watching and don't forget to tell me in the comments section below the video which one method from this video you are going to use first. I would be interested to hear from you. If you want to advance your digital skills with social media marketing, make sure you click the link under the video now and check out the social media marketing consultant online course. It will give you all the digital skills, training and knowledge you need to create a profitable business from start to finish. It breaks down social media marketing to a simple step by step process which anyone can learn over a weekend. It can help you start a new business venture or start a new career.
career. And if you are interested in that, which I hope you are, click the link in the description box under the video and take a look at it. I hope that you found this video useful. Please share it with your friends, like it and tell people about it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and please give the video a like. If you have any questions, please leave a comment under the video and I will follow up with you. Thanks for watching.